Thank you for agreeing to take part in this Human Factors study. The study is being sponsored by a medical device company. I am an independent Human Factors researcher and the purpose of the study is to evaluate the usability of this medical device by asking a sample of the intended users to simulate a use scenario in a simulated use environment. We are not evaluating your clinical skills. We want you to just concentrate on the tasks and perform them in the way that you would normally do. There is no time limit, but we want you to work at the pace that you would normally do if this was real. You may use the instructional materials if you wish. You do not need to talk to me while you are doing it. We want you just to forget that we're here and to perform the tasks in a naturalistic way. The scenario now is that you are in the middle of an abdominal operation. Things seem to be going well, but suddenly you notice that one of the devices is alarming. So could you please now resolve the alarm? Okay, so now that the, the alarm has been resolved, I'd like to ask you some questions. First of all, did you have any difficulties resolving this alarm? Yes, I did actually. I found it quite difficult. Right, and just tell us a bit more. What things were difficult to do? I found the screen was quite hard to read and I wasn't quite sure on the sequence for the buttons. Right, okay. So overall, how easy or difficult was it for you to resolve that alarm? Quite difficult. Quite difficult. And that's for the reasons you said earlier, the buttons were difficult to press, you weren't sure which buttons to press in which sequence, is that gossip? That's exactly it. I think I'd have to refer to the manual. Right, okay. Thank you. So what I'd like you to do now, please, could you please look at the patient monitor and tell me if you notice anything? Yes, the oxygen uh, saturation level has come down. The oxygen saturation level has come yes. down. So could you now please adjust the oxygen? Okay, so some questions. Firstly, when you looked at the patient monitor, how easy or difficult was it for you to tell that the oxygen saturation had dropped? Uh, I found that quite easy. It was quite clear from the graph that it was coming down. Right, so it was easy and it was clear from the graph that it was coming down. It was. Then you adjusted the oxygen. So did you have any difficulties when you were adjusting the oxygen? Uh, no, I found it quite clear. The, the label says oxygen, so it was quite clear to see which was the right dial. Could it be improved in any way? The difficulty I had was perhaps in, in knowing the, uh, which way was it to, to increase the saturation again. Do you mean which way to turn the, the Exactly dial? that. It was only once I started turning it that I could see the float coming down. So how could they improve it? Uh, I think clearer markings around the, around the dial, see if what, which is the increase and which is the decrease. Right, so that you would know whether to turn clockwise or anticlockwise. That's it. Yes. I get you. Great. Thank you. So the scenario now is that the anaesthetist has asked you to replace the Hartman solution. So the first thing I'd like you to do, please, could you please look at the bag, find the expiry date and read it out to me? Okay. So that's 2016. Does that mean it's in date or it's out of date? So that's in date. It's in date, okay. Next, could you please read the information on the bag and tell me whether this is correct based on what the anaesthetist wants. Okay, so they've requested Hartman's solution and this is Hartman's solution, one litre. Okay. And the next thing please, could you please now open the bag? Okay, so I've got so, so thank you for that. I've got some questions for you. Um, if I show you a scale where one means something's very difficult mm -hmm. and seven means something's very easy. Okay. How difficult or easy was it for you to find the expiry date on the bag? Very easy. Very easy, number seven. And how difficult or easy was it for you to check that this was the right solution? Very easy again. Very easy. Yeah. And how difficult or easy was it for you to open the bag? That was easy. Great, thank you. Could you now please flush the line with saline?
Thank you. And some questions. Did you have any difficulties flushing the line with saline? I found attaching the syringe to the line a little bit tricky. Attaching the syringe was tricky. Would you mind just showing me again how you did it and then tell me a little bit about why it was tricky? So, attaching it there. Yeah. Um, I'm using my right hand to attach the syringe um, and that may be, I may be finding that a little bit tricky because I'm actually left-handed, therefore my left hand is dominant and I find most manipulations with my right hand a little bit tricky. Right. Actually, taking the syringe out as well is, was a bit tricky. So but taking again, it out was tricky as well. That may it? be due to the fact that I'm left-handed. Now, the three-way tap then. So, did you have any difficulties turning the three-way tap? No, that, that's absolutely fine. It's got a little bit of resistance, but that's what you would expect. So, no, it's not, not difficult to right. okay. move. Great. Thank you.